our environment. Third standard, unit one, term three, science. Here we have a small introduction on environment. Yalini and her friends are going to school with her father. Hey, look at the parrots. Where are they going, Daddy? They are flying towards the pond. Now they will settle on the trees. Uncle, uncle, can you please take us there? Yes, uncle. Shall we go and have a look at them? Oh, yes. They are walking towards the pond. We should be quiet while wa walking as there are not only parrots on the tree but also ants, spiders, squirrel, mina and monkey. Oh, oh, look at the fish and frog in the pond. I can see a turtle too. Yes, see how they live in the same place depending on one another. See there, goat and cow are grazing near the pond. Children, we are getting late. We shall go to school. Yes, uncle, thank you very much for showing us this beautiful place. So, here we need to write the names of the animals that are in the picture. So, in the picture we can see parrots, ants, spider, squirrel, mina, monkey, fish, frog, turtle, goat and cow. Now, uh, here we have classification of the following into natural things and man-made things. So a lot of things have been given. We need to categorize into natural and man-made. So in natural things, uh, what a, whatever is uh, available in the nature is called natural things like river, coconut tree, jasmine flower, hill, cloud, air, sun, water, sunflower, crocodile. Now man-made things are those who are which are made by man. Now dam, building, silver vessel, cell phone, temple, cake, ship, pencil, book, doll, football, aeroplane are man-made. Match the following sources with their product and uses. Now the source is a tree. The product is wood and uses furniture. Now from sheep or lamb we get wool or leather. We make clothes. Then we have windmills. Product is the wind energy for electricity. Then we have crops for crop planting which gives us food. Then we have oats. Uh, the product is minerals and uses our jewellery. Now here we are going to talk about the environmental factors. Uh, the environment, it uh, consists of everything which is around us. And it has living and non-living things. And we are surrounded by living things like plants and animals. Also non-living things like water bodies, sunlight, air and land. Now these living and non-living things, they interact with one another. So this uh, our environment is a wonderful gift to us by the nature. Now this environment has two main factors. One is a biotic factor. So when we talk about biotic factors, all living organisms which are there in our environment are biotic factors like lion, plantain, dove, human beings, etc. And the second one is abiotic factor. Uh, abiotic is non-living things which are there in our environment. Example, air, 
soil, water, sunlight, temperature, etc. Okay, here we need to learn the difference between biotic and abiotic factors. Now we know biotic factors means living things and abiotic factors means non-living things. So biotic factors they can breed and grow, they need food to live, they can feel, they give birth to young ones. Whereas abiotic factors they cannot breed and grow, they do not need food to live, they cannot feel. They do not give birth to young ones. Now here let us classify the following as biotic and abiotic factors. So all living things come into biotic like plants, fish, elephant, peacock, cat, frog, man, lion. Whereas abiotic are chair, washing machine, book, glass, chalk piece, watch, pen. Now here we need to think and answer. A swing goes to and fro. Is it living or non-living things? It is a non-living thing. We get wood from trees which are living things. A chair is made from wood. Is the chair a living thing or a non-living thing? It is a non-living thing. Answer the question. Which of the non-living things can float? Air filled ball. Now here uh, following statements describe some of the characteristics of living things. Now we need to identify and write them. The first statement says touch me not plant closes its leaves when it is touched. The characteristic feature is feel. A papaya seed becomes a papaya tree, grow, a dove flies in the sky, move, a cow eats grass, food, a cat gives birth to kittens, reproduce, human beings and animals breathe in and breathe out, air, breathe. Now, uh, what is the interaction between biotic and abiotic factor? Now, all biotic factors, uh, that means all living things depend on abiotic or non-living things for their living. Now, these both, they are linked to each other by the flow of energy through food. Now, uh, plants, they are the most important among all the living organisms because they can make uh, their own food uh, using abiotic factors like air, soil, water and sunlight. Now here are some examples of interaction between abiotic and biotic factors. For plants, they uh, plants are biotic factors and they use water, sunlight, soil, air which are abiotic factors. Human beings are biotic factors and they use plants, water, air, animal, sunlight. Here uh, water, air and sunlight is abiotic factor and animal plants are biotic factors. So human beings use both biotic and non-biotic factors for their living. Birds as well, they use both uh, trees, air, water, sunlight, insects. So both biotic and abiotic factors. Insects also use soil, air, small creatures and plants. So both biotic and abiotic factors for their living. Now, write the needs of the following. So, birds use sunlight, water, air, trees, insects. Insects use plants, small creatures, soil, air. Human beings use sunlight, water, air, plants, animals. Now, here we need to write the abiotic factors needed for the following biotic factors to survive. 
animals again they use air water sunlight land fruit and grass plants use air water sunlight soil and land human beings use air water sunlight land wheat fruits grass and hen now next we have to move on to balanced ecosystem now here there are some questions now uh, in our environment if Uh, there is there were only plants deer and lion what will happen now what happens to the deer if we remove all the lions what will happen to the plants if there are no lions to eat the deer and if all the plants are eaten what will happen to deer so uh, when we think about the answers uh, we come to know the important for the food chain to exist in the ecosystem to make sure the energy flows between the biotic and abiotic factor so for a balanced ecosystem uh, support of animal plant and microorganism to grow in the environment we need a balanced ecosystem so if a balance uh, the ecosystem is balanced then the biotic and abiotic factors are able to cycle the energy and food as per their need so here biotic factors in an ecosystem includes three producer consumer and decomposer now what are producer so uh, we say the living things then can prepare their own food are called producer and green plants are the producer because they make their own food by photosynthesis and hence they are called primary producer humans and animals depend on plants for their food now who are consumers the living things that eat the food prepared by the producer are called consumers so here uh, there are three types of consumers based on their food like herbivores plant eating animal carnivores flesh eating animal omnivores both plant and flesh eating animals now we have decomposers now organisms that feed on waste dead plants and animals are uh, called decomposer they return the nutrients to the soil example bacteria and fungi now here again we need to classify the following biotic factors as producers consumers and decomposers so tulsi mango tree cucumber plant and grass are called producers rabbit eagle cat dog human crocodile crow are consumers fungi and bacteria are decomposers now here there are uh, animals we need to link them uh, to say whether they are herbivores carnivores or omnivores now cow is herbivores bear is lion is carnivores bear is omnivores elephant is herbivores tiger is carnivorous crow is omnivorous now next uh, uh, next we are going to discuss plant sapling so what is a sapling a young plant with a thin stem is known as sapling so survival of living things is not possible without plants planting and taking care of plants lead to a good environment so what are the benefits of plants yeah they provide oxygen for breathing they help bring rainfall they offer a good environment to live they give wood to make furniture they will provide food and shelter for living things and absorb harmful gases and smoke from the surroundings now uh, there is a festival of forest and it is called as one mahotsav and the meaning of one mahotsav is festival of forest and uh, 
this festival is organized during the first week of july every year now let's choose the correct answer which of these is an example for biotic factor goat our environment is surrounded by both biotic and abiotic factors human beings depend on the plants for their food green plants are the uh, primary producer which is an example for decomposer bacteria which of the living things would die if there are no green plants on earth a b c and d here let's fill in the blanks dash is a consumer cow young plant is known as sapling planting of sapling provides oxygen world environment day is on june 5th decomposer get food from dead plants and animals match the following stone is abiotic factor bacteria decomposer plants producer buffalo consumer say true or false abiotic factors are important for biotic factor true river is an example for biotic factor false one mahotsav is organized during the first week of july every year true plants are the consumers false plants provide food and shelter to living things true write two example for biotic and abiotic factor biotic human beings lion abiotic air water now what are the three difference between living and non living thing living things they can breathe and grow they need food to live they can feel abiotic factors they cannot breathe and grow they do not need food to live they cannot feel list the abiotic factor needed for insects plants small creature soil air what are the biotic factors of a balanced ecosystem producers consumers and decomposer why plants are called primary producer they make their own food by the process of photosynthesis write any four benefits of plants provide oxygen for breathing provide food and shelter for living help in bringing rainfall give wood for making furniture